What's up guys, we're gonna bro beats. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make some realistic guitar melodies from scratch. With that being said, let's go ahead and hop into the question of the day, which is, if you could master one instrument instantly, which one would it be? Leave an answer down in the comment section down below. Let's hop into the video. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So this is the VST I'm using, and this is the preset. All right, so let's grab in a scale. Um, we can use a, let's do an E minor. I think an E minor is good for like guitar melodies. Let's go in here. So what I'm gonna do is just give you a formula you can use to kind of use any scale you want and be creative rather than just copy what I do. So you can just place a note. Um, well, obviously we're just gonna use the root because it's just easier. And then all you need to do is use the fifth. So you can go up seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, or you can use the stamps and just place it in. It doesn't really matter how you get there as long as you have um, the notes down. So I'm gonna zoom in so we can see the notes. And then what you want to do is take your original note, okay, and then just pull it up an octave. So there's two ways you get to the next note. Um, you can pretty much just take this and just make a chord upward. So you can just make a little dyad upward. Or you could have just used a triad and then just pull this note up. It doesn't really matter how you get there as long as you have the notes. I'm going to shorten these up a bit. And then we're just going to pull these out. Just like this. All right, and then I'm gonna add a strum. Let's take these. I'm just offset them a bit. It doesn't need to be perfect, but I'm trying to at least get us to sound somewhat decent. And I'm just editing the velocity. Just a bit. This right here, we need this this little strum here to stop where this note stops. I might even stop these a little further back. All right, so I think that's pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and do the second part here. And pretty much you would just copy this over and you could just pull it down until it matches somewhere. Um, it's up to you on where you want this to go, um, but we can actually do this because this actually fits. So let's delete all this. Pull this in. Let's make this chord up. Pull it up. Open it up. See what that sounds like. And I'm gonna actually pull these out so it doesn't sound so robotic. And it's always tricky with these types of VSTs to like get it to sound like believable. Uh, so I think that's good enough. Um, one thing we can do is let's maybe add some higher notes. Kind of like that. I'm gonna do the same thing down here, but I'm gonna put it right here. Boom. And then we're gonna add just some bass notes real quick. Throw that in. I'm gonna make sure this is low. All right, I like that. And then lastly, um, let's see, what else could we add real quick before we do some variation? And we could add like a little top part, but we could do that last. We could do the top part last. Let's focus on like the main melody. So what we're gonna do now is add some variation on this side. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so now we're gonna add some variation. Um, so pretty much we could just copy this over, shift D it, and then we can, copy it up an octave and then build a chord backwards from this. Okay, and then you know, if we want to, maybe we can try a different pattern. We don't got to do the same exact pattern, um, but we do want to kind of keep the same rhythms. So where these start, so we want to, if it'll let me copy. So we want to switch it somewhere right here. 
So I'm gonna just pull these out to there. So we remember that. And then you don't really, auto well, I mean, if you know, if you're making this on your own, right? You, like you wanna spend time to make it sound perfect. But when you use like these VSTs and stuff, um, sometimes you have to fight with it to get it to play the right notes. Right, like so you gotta kinda mess with it. Okay, so I like that. So what we're gonna do next, um, let's see. Let's maybe take one of these notes and then we can make a chord backwards from it. Take this note, pull it down. And I'm gonna just offset these a bit. So I'm holding shift and dragging my mouse wheel. Pull this up. Maybe let's use this over here somewhere. And then let's finish it off with a little sum at the end. Let's take this one, oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so now we're just using the same tricks again and then we pull that up. So now we have our little guitar melody. Pull this one down. Now I'm gonna shift D these and then we can pull them in. All right, now it's starting to sound real good. So we're just gonna add some at the top. Pull that up, let's play it. I want to add like a flam here, but it, it might not really sound good because it's, it's going to be artificial. But just to show you, like a little flam. turn these up a bit and again um, there's a lot more you could do but i think just getting the note placement down is good so i'm gonna play the whole thing try to get everything in frame all right All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.